Welcome, or welcome back to Game of Fangs and Thrones. My name's Anna. This is a weekly vlog. Uh, so, last night, uh, if you saw last week's vlog, you'll know that I was going to start Poisoned by Jennifer Donnelly. I'm about halfway through, just under. And I am enjoying this. Uh, this is a feminist-esque retelling of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs with a magical twist that um, and the story pretty much starts the same way as the traditional fairy tale but rather than Sophie up well, Snow being rescued by a prince our Snow White Sophie has a bit more agency to herself um, her heart is stolen by the huntsman he does actually take it and then the dwarves or seven brothers of the wood come and save her and replace her missing heart with a clockwork heart and while sophie learns to manage her emotions better the two of the brothers are on a hunt to get her proper heart back and I am very much enjoying it. Sophie is, at the start, she's very unsure of herself. She's very kind, but has also been told by her stepmother that kindness is a weakness. And we also get an insight into the queen in this as well. We see that she isn't vain. She appears vain because that means she would look strong. She parades in her diamonds because then that gives the impression that the country is rich. So I'm not saying I like the Queen because she's gone after an innocent. I'm saying I understand her motivations a little bit more than in the traditional fairy tale. The narrator of this is interesting uh, because it is first person but it's not from Sophie's perspective it's a first person from the huntsman and which is a interesting take but I am enjoying it so I'll probably read that read a bit of that before before bed um I am starting this vlog a bit late because I got new I downloaded a new game onto my phone and it's been taking up a lot of my attention today. But we are in the creative space. I'm not writing today. Um, just because I don't feel like it and that's fine. But what I do want to do is do some work on the Disney blanket because that is piling up again because I didn't do any last week. And then I have also ordered from Amazon uh, some cross-stitch kits. Now, I have done cross-stitch before, but it's been a while. So, I just ordered some of the kits where the picture is printed onto the fabric. So, I can make a start on that. Um, the idea is that I take one away with me next week. Um, so I can do it when we're just relaxing. But until that happens, we have the crochet. I'm going to go make myself a cuppa, a cup of coffee, and then figure out what square comes next. Hey guys, it's now Thursday. I've been neglecting this vlog. I just haven't had the motivation to film, and that's okay. But making up with it because I finished two Disney squares this week. We have the 100 acre wood granny square and a Minnie Mouse polka dot. And then I have a big update. I am still reading Poisoned. I'm this much in. It's getting to the point in the books where I think it's starting to drag. But that's a me book, that's a me thing, not a book thing. That happens a lot in YA for me now. But I'm still enjoying it. Uh, did I tell you what this is about? Yes, I did. Uh, but I am nearly finished. 
I'm liking this so much better than the original Snow White movie, Snow White story and Disney movie. Never been a fan of the Disney princesses, but that's a story for another time. Uh, in this, Sophie has more agency. She is incredibly naive, but she has agency. She's able to think for herself. She's able to do things for herself. She's not waiting on anybody coming to rescue her. She knows what she has to do. And she's at that point, that turning point, because we all know how this is going to end. Um, she's at that turning point where she's starting to fight back. She's starting to realise that what she's been told is wrong. And she's fighting. Then, because I haven't been reading that as quickly as I was hoping, because I have a new hobby. I'll go get the other two. I thought I could hear voices, but I think it's next door. But I'll be right back. I have some cross stitch. I've got back into my cross stitch. So the one I'm working on is a Disney one. I don't know if you can see, but I'll take the pattern out the back. This is what that will end up as. And we have this one, and that picture's not too good, but it is patterned. And then we have two wolves as well. So I get two patterns for the price of one of these <laughs> because I have the pattern on the paper, which admittedly I started using and then gave up on. So we have that, which I can use as another project. But while I've been studiously working away, can you see it? Yeah, you can see all of this. I have been listening to an audiobook. I also listened to this on the way and way back to work. It was a nice mix. I mean, it was interesting being in a fantasy setting and hearing a bike, but it worked. Uh, but I'm listening to reading um, Sorcery Films by Margaret Rogerson, and I have read this, um, so I'm just re listening to it, re reading it um, in a different format, and I'm enjoying it. I think I like this better than reading it physically. But I can see why people enjoy the audiobook, but I'm just taking my socks off as I'm talking. I don't know why, but I will just pop it in the just in the uh, washing basket. I did also get some frames as well, but and some hoops, but that's not as exciting, is it? But uh Oh yes, I think so. Um, Sorcerer of Thorns, like I say, I'm 15 chapters in. It is a reread. Um, I think I read it before I started videoing again. I think I read it in that gap where I wasn't really doing much apart from slumping. Um, just life slump in general. But we are following Elizabeth, who was brought up in a library and in this world libraries hold grimoires. Which are sp which seem to be spirits are caught between pages, and they are personally there. The books themselves seem to be the spirits of demons or maleficus, and they, they are happy enough to be contained in grimoires unless they are provoked, and then be, they become the malefics. And it is the library's job, the great library, which whenever I hear it, I want to put capitals on G and L because it seems important. They want to protect the books from the world and the world from the books. And Elizabeth is an apprentice and she is training to become a warden. She wants to protect the grimoires and the world. Uh, she and her friend Katrine or Katien, um, I won't call her Katrine, it's probably not, 
but they break into a reading room when a sorcerer comes to visit to read the grimoire and they meet Nathaniel Thorne. Now, a flash forward a couple of months, I think it is, and Elizabeth is the only one awake on a dark and stormy night when a Maleficus Malefect escapes the library and goes on a rampage to try and stop, well, to try and destroy everything. Um, Elizabeth manages to stop him, it, but in doing so she realises that the director of the library has been killed and because she was the only one awake and the only one around, she gets the blame for the, malefic the male malefic. And because of that, she is taken to the city, the big city, to stand trial for the director's murder. Of course, things don't go to plan. And I am i know what's going to happen. But for the purpose of spoilers, I think we have a romance. But it's not focusing on the romance, which I like. It's very slow burn. What it is focusing on is being true to yourself, finding the courage to stand up for yourself, knowing what's right and wrong, and being able to challenge authority. The only thing at the moment that's bugging me, and I think this bugged me the first time, was that the only personality trait we get of Elizabeth is that she's a tall girl. And I get it, but I'm not seeing her bravery, her courage, we know it's there because she's going up against authority but it's like, come on, show, show us this, tell us something, even tell us that she likes ice cream just show and tell us something more than she's a tall girl but other than that I am enjoying it, it's not a, it's not a five star, it's probably a three or a four but I still have Nine, hour, nine and a half hours and I listen on one time speed because I'm getting back into it. Uh, I did start off the Audible. Um, membership again. Subscription? Membership? And with that I did get a credit. So I bought Beneath the Keep by Erica Johnson. Johansson. I listened to the first trilogy a while ago so I might do a re-listen and then I've got Arabian Nights Volume 1 and Volume 2 so I'm well stocked for audio but I think what I'm going to do because I don't want to read this yet I'll read that before I go to bed but what I'll do is I'll pop on YouTube probably works more on this because I'm just impressed with myself at how much I've actually got done. I know it doesn't look like much on the grand scheme of things, but I've only had this since Tuesday. Because I didn't go to rehearsal, but they don't need me and I'm away next week. Um, so, I'm impressed. And for anybody who's interested in cross stitch, here's the back. This is just thread the working thread but I it's quite neat it's not as pretty as that side but it's neat but yeah I'll probably just stick some YouTube on because I think Jade has a new video up um and with it being a Thursday I think Becca should have one as well so we shall just watch and stitch and then read before bed oh, i think i'm definitely entering my granny era <laughs> it's saturday it's raining we have a, a coffee and we have the cross stitch so last night i swear i came in from work and all i did was work on this cross stitch and listen to an enchant a sorcery of thorns by margaret rogerson and that's all i've done what is this bit of hair doing 
don't think it knows. Ah, I was in the right place. But <laughs> I'm now officially on holiday. So we're just chilling for the weekend and then we go away to mo uh, on Monday. So I don't know what this vlog's turning out to be, but I'm entering my granny era. So it's now Sunday. We are downstairs just because I fa fancied it. I haven't ran poisoned through Corpel yet, but I think it's going to come out with a 3.5 or 4. I did enjoy it. I just didn't love it and I found that I was actually, I, you can see the reflection of the telly in my glasses, I'm sorry. Uh, but I found that I was actually doing um, other things than wanting to read. Last night I actually just popped YouTube around and tidied. And my room's not perfect, it will never be perfect. But And obviously... We have a cross stitch that has been taking up a lot of my time because this is going to look so cool when it's finished. But I'm still reading um, Enchant Sorcery of Thorns, right? Wrong. I keep wanting to call it Enchantment of Ravens, but that's the other one. Uh, but I've only got like two hours of that left, so I'll probably finish that at some point next week. And I will probably give you an update on what Poisoned actually turned out to be uh, in next week's vlog, which will still be happening. I'm just going on holiday, so it might be a little bit different. Um... And I should have got my nails done before I went away. But we'll just get it done after. Because they're getting long now. But I'm rambling. So I'm just going to end this vlog here. So give it a like if you like it. And hit that subscribe button if you want to see this. Talk about books. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.